Hey guys, it's Delicia here, and thanks for tuning into the Cigar Vixen channel. So today I'm excited to be introducing another fun Stogie Bird shipment to you guys. I already unboxed it and I'm going straight for the tissue paper unveiling. And I'm listening to your feedback, which was I have been putting out a couple different videos using uh, the iPhone uh, 12 Pro Max or whatever it's called, as well as the iPad. And you guys surprisingly have given some really, really nice feedback that you prefer the videos this way, that you like the whole, you know, less edited look, because I do tend to, you know, kind of chop things around and try to make it a little faster to watch. But you guys have said that you prefer just kind of like letting it roll. So um, that actually makes my life a lot easier. <laughs> so thank you. And I'm going to go ahead and just unveil what's in this month's shipment of Stogie Bird. Um, if you're unfamiliar with the club, one, you can go back and watch the many, many videos that I've done in the past talking about Stogie Bird and how awesome it is, but it's basically a cigar subscription uh, monthly club, if you will, that gets delivered straight to your door, always comes in these really fun, festive packaging, as well as reusable tubes that you can make into your own little travel humidor if you need it. You could dispose of them, but again, they have the option of being reusable, including the cool Boveda bag that's inside each and every tube that comes with the Boveda approved storage, the Boveda packs. So if need be, you could essentially leave your cigars in there for up to a year. I don't know if anyone leaves their cigars in the bags for a year, but it's nice to know that that's an option because again, sometimes if I'm depending on how many cigars you're getting and how often you're smoking, you may run out of storage, which brings you to another fun thing of shopping for more humidors. But hey, that's a whole nother segment. So what I will do is um, show you um, the different options right away so you can jump onto stogiebird.com and you have the options of signing up for the two for 20 club, the five for 40, the eight for 60, which is what I'm a part of and I love it. You could do, um, they've added some newer options too. So you have this eight cigars with a bonus four cigars for 90 bucks. And then of course the brand of the month, which is my other subscription that I belong to. It's roughly around eight cigars, seven to eight cigars, usually eight, um, featuring a different brand every single month and that's for 70 bucks, so it's a great deal. There's also the buddy system, which is another favorite of mine. You could sign up with a friend, you could share your cigars with somebody, you could um, share with that imaginary friend of yours, you could smoke some of them now, some of them later, however you choose to do it, but that's a great option. There's also the give the bird, that's a nice little gift option too. And then now we have the random brand of the month, which has been discounted down to 55 bucks. So again, I'm assuming that's more of the past brands of the month that they're probably rolling in just different ones to kind of familiarize you with some of the different brands out there that you may or may not have tried. And then this one, which seems to be a new feature, this is the Stogie Bird Dozen, 90 bucks and you get 12 cigars. Um, yeah, that's a steal. I love it. And then of course, they have broken down into either the size matter, so depending on a Vitola of choice or strength level, that's another fun option you could do, as well as the Vintage Fresh, which is again, genius idea by Sam. Vintage Fresh is taking older, vintage, legitimate uh, cigar bands and coming up with newer blends for them, hence the fresh part of the, of the name and making them available to all of us. This is a great thing. So these are ones that have been released already. So they have a sampler pack on some of those, as well as if you smoked through uh, your own that you received and you wanted to add more, you could definitely do that. But a lot of fun options on stogiebird.com. Now I'm gonna go ahead and unveil. And if you notice, I don't have a cigar lit just because um, history has taught me that every time I light up a cigar and I try and do these unboxing, untubing videos, I just, my cigar goes out, it's not fun. So I've decided to sacrifice my own love for smoking on camera to properly discuss what cigars are being given. So every tube comes with this, and this gives you a nice little rundown of what's inside your tube. And again, broken down by whether you're a Stogie Bird 2, Stogie Bird 5, or Stogie Bird 8 member. And then I promise I'll show you these nice little tubes. So you get um, these little guys here. This tube is hard, you could throw it, you can uh, pop it in your golf cart in the back of your car, whatever need be, but they are very strong and you could reuse them as well as all the fun little stickers, which is always a bonus uh, feature that I love. This has something else in here. Oh, we have a keychain. Well, oh, that's fun. 
So a nice little Stogie Bird keychain. Sam always adds little gifts and I'm just definitely um, not gonna ever complain about that because I love that idea. Try to see if you could see whatever image that is. That's pretty cool. And then, you know, these fun, fun little cigar uh, stickers, cigar stickers. These are great. Okay, so opening up the, again, Boveda approved bag. This is something that gives you all the facts on it right in the back of your bag. So you could scan this little QR code, takes you right to your account. And it gives you all these cool, you know, stats on Stogie Bird. And then again, if you needed to, you could leave your cigars in this bag for up to a year. But um, most of the time, you'll probably go ahead and smoke through these in less than that time frame. <laughs> And again, nice little Boveda pack in there. So let's break this down and look at what is in the Stogie Bird 2, which is what you would get if you were, again, doing the 2 for 20 pack here. Let me try and sort through these real quick. Okay, so the first one is the white label. This is the... Um, Vicaria cigars. So this is coming out of the Dominican Republic. I'm going to read the description from the paper that I showed you that comes with every tube. So this is coming out of the Dominican Republic, Tabacalera Las Lavas. It's a 5.5 by 48 Corona Gorda, Ecuadorian Connecticut on the wrapper, Dominican binder and filler. And it says that it's a fairly mild strength cigar. So that's what it looks like here, this little beauty. Next up, we have the Buck 15, Gubra, Lost and Found. This is coming out of the Dominican Republic and an undisclosed secret location factory. A 5x50 Robusto, a Brazilian Gubra wrapper, um, Olor Dominican on the binder, Nicaraguan Honduran and Dominican on the filler. This one is a medium strength. Um, this one says new release vintage 2018. Okay, so this again, this these two cigars would have been included if you were the Stogie Bird 20, if that was your club. But that's what this one looks like here. Has that nice little buck on the front of it there. Moving on, this would be now starting if you were part of the Stogie Bird 5. Oh, this is a beautiful cigar here. This is the Siri R, beautiful Maduro, very rich in flavor. I love the emblem from the Gloria Cubana. So this one's coming out of the Dominican Republic, also from the El Credito Cigar Factory, five and a half by 54 Robusto, featuring a US Connecticut grown broadleaf wrapper, a Nicaraguan binder, a Dominican and Nicaraguan on the filler, nice medium strength on this one, also rated a 90 in Cigar Aficionado. And next up we have the Pichardo Natural. This is beautiful and you can see Hopefully you can tell in this cellophane here, it's a little, has a little bit of age to it. I can see it, it's not really coming out super clear on the camera, but it has um, just a nice little age to the cellophane there. So this one's coming out of Nicaragua this time on the Tabacalera Pichardo factory, six by 50 Toro, Ecuadorian sun-grown Habano wrapper, Nicaraguan binder and filler. It's a medium strength and it's a new release. Next up, we have this lovely Brick House Maduro from J.C. Newman coming out of their factory in Nicaragua. 5x54 Robusto Brazilian wrapper, Nicaraguan binder and filler, medium strength, rated a 91 in Cigar Aficionado. Beautiful Brick House. And that would be the end if you were on the Stogie Bird 5, you would have received those five cigars. So now moving on to the Stogie Bird 8. So we have the, mm, we have the Monte Cristo Espada. I love the swords on here. I don't know if we can, hopefully if this is coming out really good, but I just love the details to this cigar. This is a lovely, lovely stick. Beautiful. A lot of information, a lot of detail to this particular one, beautiful. So this is also coming from Nicaragua and out of the Placencia Cigar Factory. Six by 50 Toro, Nicaraguan wrapper, Dominican binder, Dominican, Nicaraguan, and Peruvian on the filler, medium to full on the strength, and it's rated a 92 in Cigar Aficionado, part of their top five of 2015. 
a beautiful cigar. Next up, we have this uh, See No Evil from Chafiot's collection. This is from, it's actually made in the US and it's coming out of the Cordoba and Morales factory. That's cool. I haven't heard from them in quite some time. Cordoba and Morales was a really nice cigar brand. So See No Evil, 5x50 Robusto, beautiful San Andres on the wrapper, Nicaraguan binder and filler. And the proceeds go to human trafficking prevention. Wow, um, go buy a lot of these because that's amazing. I love that they included this. Thank you, Stogie Bird. And then I'm gonna show the detail on this one because the rest of them are normal cap, but I can see already this one has a nice little, nice little pigtail finish. Look at that beautiful oil too. Mexican San Andres on the wrapper, my favorite. I can't wait to smoke this one. This is awesome. And last but not least, we have the Series JJ. This is the Don Pepin Garcia. This is coming out of the My Father Cigar Factory in Nicaragua, 5x50 Robusto, full Nicaraguan, full strength. Um, also rated a 91 in Cigar Aficionado. So a lot of top ratings from Aficionado in this particular bunch here. And um, hopefully, I think the camera quality is pretty good. So even though it's in the cellophane, I feel like you guys can still see it really, really well. Um, beautiful lineup there. And moving on to my brand of the month. I love the tissue paper. I've said it before, you guys probably make fun of me. I will reuse this when I wrap a gift. I mean, it seems a shame not to. So wow, this comes with um, a whole little pamphlet about Biscarias. This is the brand of the month. So they make the, they make a lot of really nice cigars. Let me try and show this to you. So we have the white label Connecticut. This gives you like a full description. Like this is like their whole lineup here, which is cool. I like to have all the information. Sometimes people's websites don't show a lot, but this is great because you have it on hand. You can refer back to it if there's something that you really liked. You can learn about it. So I like that they included this in the packaging here. Okay, and we have um, another little Stogie Bird keychain. I like that. I might have to gift one of those away for fun. And of course, stickers. Gotta love my Stogie Bird stickers. One day I'll show you like my random sticker collection. And again, the nice little Boveda approved baggie with all the info about your account that you could scan the QR code, all that fun stuff here. And then I love the reusable tubes. I just, I use them when I travel, they're just excellent because you don't have to worry about, um, you know, if you don't wanna necessarily bring your big old travel humidor, you could pop it in these tubes, put them in your suitcase, your backpack, whatever, your purse. Um, and they're like really protected. And then when you're done with them and you've smoked the cigars that you brought on your trip, you could just toss the tube, so it's great. And then you come back a little lighter, less unpacking. Um, so now we have these little beauties and let me actually try to compare them to what they gave us in this little pamphlet here. So we have the Vicarias, which I, I feel like I always say their name wrong. So this one is the newest member of the, let's see of the glare here, of the Vicarias brand, the red label. This Maduro comes beautifully wrapped in a relatively new varietal grown in the Bahia province of Brazil called Cubra. So nice Cubra wrapper, beautiful. Um, our goal was to come up with a stick that would rival one of our favorite cigars, the Liga Pravada number no. nine, um, at a more affordable price. Indeed, we think we've succeeded. It's a medium body yet with some spice from the Jalapa region. It was the addition of the Pennsylvania Broadleaf, however, that really made this blend special. Check it out for yourself. So rated a 90 by Cigar Snob. Very cool. All right, I'll have to smoke this next to a Liga 9 and see what that is all about. <laughs> okay, so this one, um, let's see here. 
Next up, it looks like we have two different Vitolas in the Black Label Maduro. So they have a Robusto 5.5 by 50 and this Corona 5 by 48. In the Black Label Maduro, it says the Vicarias, Vicarias Black Label is a classic Maduro with notes of black pepper, dark chocolate, and coffee. Yes. It has perfect draw, even burn, and everything else that you would want in a Maduro. Perfect for that after-dinner retreat. We like to refer to the Vicarias Black Label as our executive cigar due to its premium sensibilities and the balance it delivers. The blend was specifically designed to bring out the subtle notes in wines as well as your favorite spirits and cocktails. No matter what you decide to pair with the Vicarias Black Label, the flavor experience will not disappoint. Being that I love red wine, um, I'm very excited to pair these with, um, you know, after a nice steak dinner. Stay tuned on Instagram as I post a picture of that because I'll definitely add that to um, the lineup for a nice, uh, after a nice steak, glass of red wine, then this beautiful Black Label Maduro. I like it. Um, I like that they had this little pamphlet. This makes my life so much easier. I love it. I love simplicity. Okay, so now we have this Blue Label Corojo. And we have a nice little, kind of like this little torpedo. And then we have a Toro, it looks like here. And it looks like they actually have three um, Vitola, so the Torpedo, the Toro, and they also have a Corona in this one. So Vicaria's Blue Label with its Merlot Red Corojo wrapper, an extremely complex blend, subtle changes occur throughout your enjoyment of this fine cigar, from various spices and pepper to hints of tea and coffee. It is a combination that you will not soon forget. This cigar has a smooth draw and its rich flavors will appear to novices and aficionados alike. Making it the right choice or gift for almost any occasion, we can guarantee your friends will be impressed with your good taste. I like when they do that. I like when they say it's for newbies and the, you know, more experienced cigar smoker. I feel like that's a nice challenge. Next up, we have, let's see, this one. Ooh, ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. This one's blended by Jose Blanco. Okay, so the... Invictus is an awesome smoke, if we do say so ourselves. Jose Blanco is a world-renowned blender and its offerings like this one that illustrate why he's so highly regarded. Jose's blends are known for their complexity and this delivers in spades. However, Invictus is also one of the strongest cigars he has ever developed. What is unusual is that the strength is delivered using primarily Dominican tobacco. So Ecuadorian Habano wrapper, Dominican binder, and then the filler is featuring Dominican Olor and Piloto Cubano grown in the Dominican Republic. Beautiful, um, has three Vitolas, Legion, Centurio, and Emperor. Um, yeah, this looks great. I like the band on this one too, very cool. And then these last two, so we have, oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. so we have the Negotiator. This is a box press little baby here, um, a four and a half by 48 box press. Mexican San Andres on the wrapper, Dominican Olor on the binder, Dominican Nicaragua and Pennsylvania on the filler. Um, so basically, I think these are made to, it says at crunch time, a certain company CEO liked to pass out small cigars such as these to everyone at the bargaining table. Once the cigars were cut and lit, he would calmly declare, okay, when I finish my cigar, I'm walking whether we have a deal or not. I like the name, The Negotiator. Very nice. And let's see, last but not least, let's see if we can find this guy here in my little pamphlet. Of course, I'm not seeing it. And um, I'm guessing that maybe it is this one here even, yeah, I think, well, the band looks different. Okay, so we have the Vicarias. Um, this is not, I don't think this is the white label Connecticut. That's the other one that's listed here, but it looks different. So I'm not sure what this one is, but I like the band, unless they just kind of redid the band. We'll figure what this one is out later, but look at that beautiful detail to the band. So again, this is coming in your brand of the month. And I, I say it a lot on all these videos, but if you're not somebody that thinks outside of the box or you don't really try new brands when you walk into a humidor, this is a great way to not only experience a newer brand that maybe you're not as familiar with, but to really try their pretty much their entire portfolio in one session of, you know, you get your tube, you can smoke these throughout a couple weeks, throughout the month, however your pace is of smoking, but it's a nice way to familiarize yourself with 
what's out there on the market. Again, kind of stepping outside of your normal wheelhouse perhaps, but it's a great way to experiment and really continue on your cigar smoking journey. So as always, I thank you guys so much for tuning in. Thanks for watching me untube my Stogie Bird shipments. It's always a pleasure to spend this time with you. And um, I will be finishing up now and heading out to light up one of these babies. So make sure you're following Stogie Bird on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram. I'll try and do definitely this pairing of the, um, the Maduro here, the Black Label Maduro with a nice glass of wine. So stay tuned for that. And thanks so much for hanging out, guys. Cheers.